Okay, got to be a bit careful with um, this idea. Because in this example, um, what do you have? You have this arbitrary element, which you can pull apart. But you have this extra thing dangling off the end, which is going to ruin all your fun. Zero, one, 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 zero. So you can check that this is true just by recombining here. So what does this tell me? It tells me, tells me, tells me that uh, h is not equal to the span of of uh, these two vectors. Um, since, uh, for example, zero, zero is in this span. It's in every span. But it's not an H. Um, to see why it's not an H, let's do a little side here. It's not an H. Since, you know, I would need 0, 0, 0 to equal one of one of these guys. A plus B, A plus 7. Um, has no solution. for A and B. Okay, you can try to solve it, but I think you're gonna see that it doesn't work, right? From here you see B is zero, and then from here you see that A is zero, and what does that mean? That means that this one here cannot be satisfied. Okay, so that doesn't always work. But if you do have something like this happening with this dangling thing here, okay, you have a strong suspicion that H is not a subspace. So what you need to do is you need to find a concrete reason why H is not a subspace, which I have done right here. Okay. Okay, zero, zero, zero is not in H, so H is, is not a subspace of V. Okay, this is the first of those tests and the definition of the subspace, of a subspace. 